Okay, special session for you guys today. We have got Elise, our senior physio, Pilates trained guru. She's gonna help you by working on PAM to show you what you need to be doing with your core on certain exercises. Now we're gonna go through six things. This is the first of six episodes. Today is about finding your neutral spine, getting your transverse abdominals working, working on your pelvic floor, and getting all those three things all in sync. Now this one's especially important for people who have got back pain or had back pain, they've lost their core, they don't know what to do, and these things are boring. They're boring exercises, they're low level exercises, people don't do them, so if you're one of those people who is struggling with this stuff, listen to her cueing. She's gonna work through step by step on what to do so one, you can actually do it properly, and two, it becomes a little bit less boring, so you actually get it done, and then we'll move on. All right, so the first thing we're gonna go through today is we're gonna teach you how to actually find your neutral spine. So neutral spine is super, very important. So we know that all your vertebrae are actually gonna be stacked on top of each other when we're adding load to a movement. So first thing I get you to do is we're gonna make a triangle. We're gonna pop the heels of your hands onto your hip bone. So down here, yep. And then your index fingers are gonna sit in a triangle on your pubic bone. Now, what you can feel at the moment is that your triangle is slightly tilted back towards you. When we're going into a neutral spine, we want that triangle to be completely even. So we want the heels of our hands and we want our index fingers to be on an even plane. So what I want you to do is I want you to tilt your triangle slightly. So you're tilting your fingers down towards your toes until you feel like that triangle is in neutral. Now, for some people, depending on your shape and depending on your size, your curve underneath your spine here is different between different people. But essentially what we want to at least see is that you've got a soft curve underneath your back. So this for Pam, she's got quite a gap underneath her back and this will change for different people. But what we can also see here is that we can see that outline of the bottom of Pam's ribs. So as she's gone into her neutral spine, she's actually just flared her ribs a little bit. And all we need to do there is just pull her rib cage down slightly towards her hips so that she's not actually too arched through her lower back and she's maintaining that neutral spine. Great, so once we've got the neutral spine, it's important when we start then engaging our core muscles, so engaging our pelvic floor, engaging our TA, we're not gonna come out of this pelvic positioning. We're not tilting our pelvis at all as we start to activate these muscles. So from here, we're gonna keep one hand balancing on that pelvis to make sure that it's not moving at all. The other hand, we're gonna find that hip bone once more. Once you find that bony bit of your hip bone, great. Then we're gonna come sideways towards your belly button and you're gonna need quite a firm grip in there to actually feel what our muscles are doing. So there's two parts to the next bit. We've got our pelvic floor which goes up towards our belly button and then we're gonna lock down through our TA muscle or our transverse abdominis and that runs across from hip bone to hip bone. So learning about the pelvic floor first, we are going to imagine that we're in the middle of a wee and we've been asked to stop and we wanna try and hold that wee, even though we've already started. Now that's gonna feel like you're pulling up towards your belly button. What you should feel through your fingertips, and I'm just gonna have a little bit of a feel now on this side, because Pam's doing really well at keeping that pelvic positioning. I'm gonna have a little bit of a feel on this side. Now what we're both feeling for here is just a slight change in the muscle texture underneath your fingertips. So it shouldn't be rock hard, but if Pam just lets it go once more for me, and then we're gonna lift up through that pelvic floor a little bit. So pulling up like we're trying to stop ourselves from away. That's it, that's great. You'll just feel a slight little change underneath your fingertips. Great, all right. Now we're gonna let the pelvic floor go. We're gonna learn how to switch on that TA as well. And then we're gonna try and switch them on together. So remember the direction of that TA muscle. It's not coming back up towards your head. It's now coming across. So the best way I find to get your TA switching on is that I want you to imagine that you've got a piece of string going from this hip bone to this hip bone and it's tied up in a bow in the middle. What we're going to do is we're gonna try and pull that bow so it's getting tighter and tighter and tighter and our hip bones feel like we're trying to draw them in. Now, same thing with our fingertips. What we should feel underneath our fingertips here as we work on that and try and switch on the TA muscle is, we should feel a larger change in what the the type of contraction feels like underneath our fingers. So it should be a lot firmer than what you feel for that pelvic floor. So we're gonna let it go once more. 
and then one more time we're going to imagine that we're drawing our hip bones closer and closer together and we're scooping our tummy muscles in towards our spine rather than pushing out our abdominal contents. So we're not breath holding here at all. Good, really good. Okay, now relaxing again for me one more time. Pam's doing really, really well at this. So we're gonna try and switch them on both at the same time now. Now usually I would still get people into the habit of switching on your pelvic floor first and then locking down with your TA. If you continue to the monitor in the first early stages of learning this exercise, if you feel like you lose a little bit of that contraction underneath your fingertips, then we're probably forgetting our pelvic floor through the exercise. If you feel like you lose a big chunk of that contraction during the exercise, you're probably more likely to be losing that TA. Anytime you feel a change in the texture underneath your fingertips, we wanna come back to the start, reset, engage your pelvic floor again first, then your TA. So we're gonna practice that again now. So first up, we're gonna lift up through the pelvic floor, imagining your midstream through a wee and you're trying to stop yourself. Beautiful. Now we're gonna try and hold that and keep that on as we now lock it down through the middle, imagining that you're now pulling your hip bones closer together, pulling your belly button into your spine. Perfect. Really good. 